In this video, we are discussing how to install HBase on your system. So, HBase installation and we shall give you a practical demonstration so that you can feel better that what are the steps to be issued for the installation of HBase. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this video, we are going to discuss how to install HBase on our Hadoop system. So, at first we are going to download HBase from this respective path. Just look at the path, we are doing the copy and opening the browser, we have done the paste of the link in the URL and now from this particular file, I am showing you, yes, this file, we are going to start our download, we are saving this one onto our download folder and now download is in operation, it is taking place. The previous download folder, I am just deleting. Download is in operation. You can easily find the progress. Now download has been completed successfully opening the download folder. This is the file tar.gz file and here we are creating one new folder giving the folder name as a hbase. The folder has got created. We have logged into that folder. We are opening this tar.gz file and all the components there, all the files there, we have done the copy and pasting it onto this hbase folder. And all the files have got copied. So under the conf folder, we are having one shell program that is hbase env.sh. Now at first let us update our etc profile file using gedit we are opening the etc slash profile file here we shall be doing one update here so here we are putting one path for hbase I am having this in uh, installation details dot txt and this is the path we are going to do the copy and paste onto that etc slash profile file. So I am opening the etc slash profile file here and here we are pasting that path. You can pause the video and write the path and the etc profile file has been saved. I am closing the gedit and executing etc profile file. Now we shall update this hbase-env.sh uh, file. Here we will be putting updating this Java home path. So this Java home path has to be updated. So let us check what is the current Java home path we are having on our system. So this is a path. So doing a copy of this path and then we are coming to this hbase hyphen env.sh file and here we are doing the paste and also making that one uncommented saving the file now in the installation details we are having another file to update that is the hbase hyphen site.xml the file has got opened and here we will be writing this configuration section just copying this configuration from opening tag to the closing tag and here in this hbase site hbase hyphen site dot xml file we are just updating this configuration part and the configuration has got updated now we are trying to check what are the java process status we can find that these are the processes are running now we shall go for the start hyphen h hbase dot sh and you can find that in h uh, jps command we can finding that some new processes have got initiated you can easily find that we are having some set of processes which has got initiated extra so initially we had one two three four five six and now we are having one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine processes 
have got initiated extra. So one of them will be our H, uh, H master. This is the one uh, process has got initiated and then we're having one, one uh, Java process is our H region server and HQUOR uh, there is a H quorum peer. So this is the three processes Java processes are executing extra. That is our H master, H region server and H quorum peer. So these are the three processes are now executing extra when you initiated the shell program that is start hyphen dot sh. So now let us go for the next part. So we are going for this hbase shell. We are initiating this hbase shell. This is a prompt for hbase. Now we shall create one table and uh, some column families under that particular table. So here we are going for this create EMP. Here EMP is the name of the table and personal underscore data and prof underscore data. They are the column families. So let me do a copy of this command and then I'm coming out to this shell. So we are already in this HBase shell here. So making a paste. So here you see we are having this EMP as the table name and personal underscore data and prof underscore data as the column families. So we are executing this one and we are finding that the EMP table has got created. So we are going for the list to show you that table has got created uh, here within this HBase. So in this demonstration, we have shown you that how to install, how to install our HBase and how to create a table under that. So let us go for a quick revision here. So here we are having this HBase installation. And here we are installing the version that is 1.2.0. So this is the installation version we are having. So from which from which link we installed this one? So we installed this one from the link. We know that we have done the copy of this link and we paste it on the browser and then installation started. We have shown you that which file has to be installed and then the installation has done, completed and my download folder is containing the file and that is our zip file actually so tart.gz is will be the extension and then we have updated this etc slash profile file we updated that one and here uh, we put this hbase home this respective uh, path we put in this etc slash profile there we have already given you the demonstration and then we executed this profile so now we open this hbase uh, hyphen env dot sh file from this particular folder that is a conf and here we have export the java home path and we have written the respective java home path there accordingly and then we opened that hbase uh, hyphen site dot xml file there the configuration this configuration and uh, start tag to end tag the code we done the copy and pasted there in this hbase hyphen site dot xml file and then we run the start hyphen hbase.sh file and we have checked with the JPS command to check what are the different Java processes are running. We found that three new Java processes are executing there. And then we created one table. The name of the table is EMP with the uh, column families that is our personal underscore data and prof underscore data. We executed this code and then using the list command we have checked that whether the table got created or not. We found that the table got created successfully. Thanks for watching this video.